that's really presumptuous of me, considering YouTube hates my channel and it doesn't promote me and it doesn't even tell you guys when I upload. Welcome to my channel. So today I have a an unboxing review of some wigs. I think five wigs from I'm Style Wigs. They very kindly sponsored this video and sent me this medium medium box. It's quite heavy though. <laughs> a medium box of wigs and I am going to be giving some of them away to you guys. FedEx always remind me of Castaway. Uh, Violet and I watched that the other day and I didn't notice. Um, I've said it so many times but I didn't notice until I was watching it with my child that he made the, the rope he got to build his boat at the end. Like he'd made a noose out of it. How did I never notice that before? So you may or may not know, I wear wigs. This is a wig, sorry. Ruin your uh, fantasies of Emily's luscious green hair that is in my way. My real hair, I'll kind of show you when I take this off, but it's in a net and it's really, really messy and it's between colors at the moment. Um, I have PCOS and it makes my hair, I cannot get this box open, and it makes my hair very, very thin. I am doing a video about it at the moment, but it won't be up for a while. So I do like to wear wigs. They just give, oh my God. Oh, Tom Hanks could have done with this box. Could have made a yacht out of it. It's not, I cannot get it open. I love that with wigs, there's just so, there's no effort. I haven't brushed this, <laughs> can't you tell? I never brush my wigs. Like I crimped it and then I, br well no, I crimped it and it came out really nice and then I brushed it and it went like this lion's mane and now I kind of love it so I won't do anything to it. Can I get in this? These are like the sharpest scissors I own. I'm about to stab myself if I'm not careful. So when I'm style asked if I'd like to do a review of their wigs, I had, a oh my God. I had a look at their wigs because I get a lot of wig companies message me to be fair and um, you know I'm quite particular about the wigs I like. I do like human hair wigs. These are, ooh, they're in like little bags. <laughs> These are synthetic but they're colours, they're co I can't even remember what colours I got. I know I got a variety and I know one of them is a Maleficent wig so I was like okay fine you won me over. Little bags. Oh my god, okay. Duh, is there a... Oh, anarchy! Right, the first one. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I think this is the one I wanted to keep. <laughs> Does each one come with a wig cap? I'm style, born for showtime. I've got a pen all over my hand. Uh, not from this, I was drawing with my door. I'm style, wigs, hair is silky, tangleless, and thick from top to bottom, just like me. We have been in the, we have been in this filed for many, <laughs> filed, field I guess, for many years at our factories which located in America, can't pronounce that, Beijing, can't pronounce that one, um, are strong qualified, okay this isn't doing any good, I'm not gonna read this. <laughs> Tells you how to put the wig on, fantastic, I will ignore all of that. Oh, normal questions, normal questions. You can cut these wigs, you can style them um, up to 180 degrees or 356 Fahrenheit. Oh, can I colour or tone my wig? Hold on, the wig can be dyed. As a general rule, it is easier to darken the hair than lighten the hair. Since improper dyeing can ruin the hair, we would suggest that you can let an experienced stylist to process. <gasps> they accept returns within 15 days. That's fantastic. And it comes, I'm guessing every wig has come with two, two wig caps. So, um, I will put the names of these wigs around here somewhere because they don't have them printed on. It's got the numbers. Okay, I've just gone through my email to find out the names of these wigs. That was a beefy boy. That is a beefy boy. Um, and I got four wigs, not five. Sorry about that. So this is the winter purple white ombre short bob synthetic lace front. <gasps> these are to give away, but I am gonna, because it's a review video, I am gonna try them all on. I am gonna cut the lace of them, but I've got clean hair um, and you know, you can give it a wash if you want to. Don't be ungrateful, it's a free wig. <laughs> this is a wig, so I'm gonna take this off. All right, you ready? Ready? Oh. oh my God, my wig cap came off. So this is my real hair. 
I'm trying to wash the green out so I can go white for a little while, silver, um, just because I go on holiday soon and when I go on holiday I don't want the colour running in the pool or running in the sea, you know, the gym. And I don't want to have to take hair dye with me on holiday to top up the colour and I hate faded hair. <laughs> So let's put this bag on. This is my own wig cap. This isn't one that came with the hair. I've got a mirror there. I'm not just like looking, staring at my wall. I did have my hair lilac and I was thinking about dyeing it lilac again. Oh my God, that is soft. And this is not helping me with not dyeing it lilac. Wow. Oh my God. I only have a back comb brush, so we're gonna use that. That is... Oh. Be still my beating farts. So we're gonna cut this lace. Cutting the lace is really, really easy. So lace front wigs come like this. And all you do is trim, I trim probably a little bit too close. Um, and I don't really put my wigs on properly. I don't glue them down or anything. Um, so I just cut as close to the, the hairline as possible. And then I'll talk you through a bit more when I can buy my scissors. So let me come close and I can show you. This is gonna give hairdressers anxiety, I'm sorry. Each hair is individually knotted through the lace. So if you cut a few off accidentally, don't worry. You, it's not about to unravel or anything. I did accidentally cut a few off. And inside it's got three wig combs. I hate it when wigs come with like one wig comb. It's like, I need three. I need one at the back, one at the side, and one at the other side. Even though my hair is shaved here, so it doesn't really cling on, <laughs> I clip them under my wig cap. So that's how I get my wigs to stay on. And it does have adjustable oh god let me show you adjustable straps there you go and they hook under i don't try not to mess it up too much and there's like uh rivety things here and you just hook it under let me show you i've got kind of a big head so i don't really need to do these ever there you go just like that fantastic i love that it's a free part one so there's no uh there's no set parting in this one so i can part it where i like so i'm gonna go here and then i put my wigs on oh my god you're gonna see all the molting hair i'm sorry it's because i cut them i cut my wigs wrong all right i kind of flip my wigs over like this <laughs> why is this giving me like back to the future vibes <laughs> Quick, Marty! <laughs> we gotta go back! So I clip them under my wig cap. Um, I kind of, I don't know if you'll be able to see. I flip them out like that and then I go under my wig cap and slide it under. Holy shit. Holy shit, where's my mirror? This is what I'm talking about! This is why I love wigs! How easy that was! Okay, it's now all in my face. And that's one thing that I hate about wigs is that the hair just goes everywhere. <gasps> but mate. Oh god, nice clump there that Emily cut off. So this is the lilac, um, purple, I'll put the links to everything. And, <laughs> stop shedding! <laughs> Get out of my mouth, jeez. I like you too, but you gotta buy me dinner first. Try and cut your wigs a little bit better than I do. So this is, uh not helping me not get purple hair. But it is making me want to do my hair like purple into white. So maybe I'll do that, just the blonde path. Well, it's currently like bluey green, but <gasps> guys. Someone call the ambulance. There's gonna be an accident. I love this. And do you see the hairlines? I haven't cut it, it's probably neat as I should have, but how um, kind of realistic that looks. And if, just think, if I did it better and neater and I glued it down, it would look so much better. So what do you think? What do you think about this one? Where's my brush? Oh, it's so thick. I'm going through a short hair thing at the moment. So I kind of don't really wear my extensions because I'm just loving short hair. See, with a little bit of brushing and like styling, pull this bit forward. Oh my God. Excuse me, Mr. President. Your wife's on the phone. Baby! I, oh my god, I love this so much! Can I have my actual hair cut like this, please? Aside from the hair getting all in my face, I am in love with this. Okay, you're, we're gonna have to, we're, we're, I'm gonna call the police if you don't stop harassing me. I've got a fan on as well, which is not helping. <laughs> but oh my god, okay, so this is wig number one. This is the, uh, what is it called? 
They don't have names, they're just kind of colours. This is winter purple white ombre. <laughs> that nice spot joining in the video. Oh my god. What do you think? Wig. <laughs> it's a beautiful wig, but you may have some of my spit on it. So that is wig number one. Oh my freaking god. I didn't think I was gonna love white hair as much as I do. <laughs> oh, on that note, I need to know of any um, white toners because my hair is kind of, once I get the bluey green out of my hair, um, I want it to go, I want it to go like this, sort of, this is kind of, it's almost pink at the end actually. It's kind of lilac into white and then almost, yeah, it is kind of lavendery. But I, I want my hair to go white. So do, can you guys recommend any toners that will get my real hair like sort of this colour? I don't mind doing it lilac and then like washing it loads so it goes silver because that's what happened last time I did my hair lilac. It shapes my face. Oh. So that is wig number one. Get out of my mouth! Okay, wig number one. Oh my god, back to ugly. Back into the bag with you. I love wigs so much. They give me so much... Oh, where's my hairband gone? I need a hairband! I can't put this on without a hairband! <gasps> it's out okay! I'm just hating my real hair so much. I um I have hairdressers actually in a few... Well, a few weeks because I've been getting my hair cut every six weeks. And um, I might actually because i'm trying to grow it i'm trying to grow it but i'm so kind of bored of the shape of it because it's just blare and bare i might get my hairdresser to actually cut it into like a bob shape like that because i wear extensions but my i don't really bother looking nice for work and then i see myself in the mirror at work and then i'm just like oh is that what i look like yes baby emily Yes, it is. So this is wig una deux. <gasps> this is the one I'm most looking forward to, so I'm going to save that one for last. So this is wig number two. They've all come in these bags, which I think is lovely. I've never had wigs arrive in bags like this. They always, always come in um, <sighs> these kind of plasticky bags, but I've never had... I don't know, it's that little attention to detail that I really like. Um, again, wig cap and instructions. Then we'll go back in the bag. And this is Rosa Cathayensis. Cathay, Rosa Cathayensis <laughs> Synthetic Lace Front Pink Wig. I don't know if I would say that's pink. Um, if I had ordered this and expected pink i would be disappointed it's it's kind of more of a a ready pink the ends are pink i feel like this is ariel after she's been to texas and she's like curled her hair in this kind of 80s fashion added some highlights gone for some cowboy boots and a denim wa a denim waistcoat and denim skirt a bit dallas so let's cut this one open let's cut open rosa this is for you, Drac. Snip, snip, snap, little April showers. Well, I told you, once you get that song in your head, it doesn't get out. I haven't even watched Bambi in years, yet the Bambi song haunts me. Violet watched Bambi when she was a kid, and now she's old enough to kind of understand it, and I'm just, I'm not ready to show her it again. Same with Fox and the Hound. Love Fox and the Hound so much, but I can't watch it. Okay, so exactly the same. One, two, three clips. And adjusties, we like that. I, I used to have red hair all the time. That was my thing. Um, and now I'm, I can't flip over um, longer wigs. Well, I can, but I'll hit my camera. Oh, I've done this too tight. Oh, it's cutting off circulation to my brain. Sir, I'm gonna need to speak to the manager. I feel, I feel like I'm not doing this justice because it doesn't suit me, but it, it is fabulous. This would be freaking perfect for dead Amber Heard Aquaman cosplay. <laughs> oh, get out of my mouth. Again, the hairline, excuse my spots. It's like a dull red more than a pink. Um, although the word Rosa seems to, I'm looking in the mirror, the word Rosa seems to fit it. More of like a dusky, dusky red pink. I love the length of it and I love the curls and the thickness, but I just, I'm not a fan of red. <laughs> I was going to dye my hair red, actually, um, not that long ago, 
Clowns to the left of me, jokers to the right, here I am stuck in the middle with you. It is absolutely beautiful. The sealer, once you style it and you pull it down like, over your face, pull these bits up a bit, like cut, put a curling tong under here and like flip them up and oh my god, give it, oh look, see, now we're getting there, now we're getting there. Oh my god, I love this, I love this, just not the colour. But it's good because I might have other colours in this style. I feel like I've knotted it up. Can I brush it? I'm not going to brush out those curls, am I? No, I'm not. I am a little bit. Okay, I'm going to stop brushing it. <laughs> so, so far, which one do you like best? Purple? Purple and white? Or red? Pink? Rosa? I feel like Heavy Metal Mama. I've just taken a selfie and now I'm like, Hey, Heavy Metal Maidens and Masters! <laughs> and now I've taken a selfie, I kind of like it. It's weird, isn't it? It's weird how you see yourself. Like, on my camera here, I don't like it um the color on me but when i took a selfie i'm like oh okay no i actually like it <laughs> so that is rosa rosa boza oh, look, oh my god we could totally do adam and eve, eve cosplay and like oh my god she's got hair growing up from her nipples so how about this style in a different color a color that's more me would you believe me if i told you i did not get a green wig well you're gonna have to because i did not get a green wig i did get a wig with green on it be the Maleficent wig. Oh my god, get in there. Do you know what? This is why I love wigs. You can transform your style, your look in a few seconds. So on that note, I said a few videos ago ha, 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 that I wanted to dye my hair all black. And then I put black hair extensions over my green half and I just looked exactly like my mum. And then I was like, no, mum, I love you. I don't want to look like you yet. So that made me want to try a um, a black wig, but not too black because I don't want to look like my mum because my mum has long black hair. So I went for this one. And this is the, oh no, that's my face. Natural Black Highlights Lace Front Daily Wear Wig. Oh, okay, so only this one is daily wear, not the others. They're all daily wear. It actually looks blonder in real life than it did on the picture. I don't know if it's just how they've styled it. Hold on, let me try. It's blonde with, um, it's like natural black. You know that you know when you dye your hair black and after a few washes it fades and it's still black but it's a little bit brown. That's kind of what it is. So I'm excited to try this. This is gonna be like normal hair. Not really, I'm not a fan of normal colored hair on myself, on myself. You do what you want. And that's another reason why I didn't wanna dye my hair black because I love it for like a week. And then I'm like, oh, I, I just want funky hair. Like life is too short. I have just cut quite a lot of that hair off and I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, who can we pretend this wig looks like? <laughs> Someone from Dallas again? Do you know what? I keep talking about Dallas. I've never seen Dallas. Again! Have you got the clips, baby? I got the clips. It's got the free clips. This is very heavy, this wig. Um, so was the red one actually. I didn't really notice it because I was kind of too excited to put it on. But it's he it's not as heavy when it's on, but when you're lifting it up, like it feels heavy. Oh, I do not like this. <laughs> Bernice! Bernice! Tell Blakely and Whitney to get back inside! Oh my god. <laughs> um... <laughs> I gotta stop getting things that I know won't suit me. Again, I, I love the length. I love the length. And the wig itself is beautiful. And again, the more I look at it, the more I like it. <laughs> I think I'm just not used to... Oh, that's another thing. I love with wigs that you can just move it and I can move my parting. So I can have a centre parting or I can move it to the side and have a side parting. Um, I used to always have side parting. Let's cover my real hair. This wig is absolutely beautiful. Um, I'm not sure of the colours or the the blending. I don't think they suit me very much, but oh my god. And they, every wig so far has felt comfortable. Um, this is why I tend to go for human hair wigs more than synthetic because they just feel a bit more comfortable to wear. Whereas this, these ones have felt comfortable. Like I haven't felt they've been itchy or anything like this. I think this actually looks really real as well. What do you think? It doesn't have the shine that a lot of synthetic wigs do. The red one didn't either. I don't think any of them have so far. But you can take that shine out by shine by spraying a uh, dry shampoo on them. I think this looks quite real. I need to cut this little bit of uh, lace a bit more, but yeah. 
I feel like I could go on EastEnders with this. This is the opposite to the heavy metal mama one. I like it on this camera. I don't like it on this camera. I feel like it, I feel like it's just a bit too, um, a bit too. I don't know. I don't know. A bit too normal for me. Oh, it's itching a little bit now. I think I've done it too tight. <laughs> but um, I don't know if I like the color. But I'm sure you would look banging in it. I gotta take this one off. <laughs> it's too realistic. Oh, good scratch. Good scratch. Okay, that one was a bit itchy. The others haven't been. So that was the black highlights one. Um, again, absolutely beautiful. I bought a um, I bought a synthetic wig from somewhere cheap the other um, a while ago, and it was about I say cheap. It was about the same price as these ones, and it just wasn't good for the for the price. I think these are pretty damn nice. Okay, we're on the last one. Oh, I just want to shave it all off. Oh God, what in the Boris Johnson is this? <laughs> right, this is the one I'm most excited for because this was uh, the Maleficent wig. It's not called the Maleficent wig. It's called Colourful Rainbow Wig, Long Body Wave Wig Halloween Wig for Costume Party. Mate, this ain't costume party, this is every day. It looks very green there. Let me, let me get that picture back up. Compare. It's only got a green fringe. It just looked like that was a lot of green. And I, pu I purposely chose this one because I I am a huge Maleficent fan. I have Maleficent tattooed on the back of my arm. That All that black bit is her. And this just gave me beautiful, fiery dragon vibes. And I just freaking needed it. It is greener because on the picture it looks like she's got just a green fringe and then at the back it looks black um it is it's just the way that it's styled so it comes with it all kind of brushed back but once you pull it forward brush it a bit there you go sort it okay last but definitely not least oh material girl material girl mysterious girl god emily get your pop songs right Material girl, move your felt close to man. All these hairs have been knotted in individually and then here I come along and cut half of them off. Okay, so this is the one that I was most looking forward to. It's got three clips. Okay, so let's flippy dippy. Oh, oh no, I got my wig cap on. Ah, ah. I've lost my wig cap, so I'm gonna have to steal one of yours. I was going to anyway, so. <laughs> let's not pretend like I wasn't. Is it like on my shoulder or something? I did this recently. I was putting contact lenses in and I was filming it and I thought I'd lost it behind my eye and the whole time it was on my shoulder. <laughs> so with these wig caps, they're kind of like a sock, like a, like a little sock puppet. And what I like to do, uh, just because my hair is a bit longer, is I cut the end off. So just cut it right across. It doesn't have to be neat because no one's going to see it. So then it becomes like a, like a glove. Like a glove? And then I tie my hair up in a po in like a, a bun thing, pull it right over, like you're back in the womb, like you're coming out of that cervix. Looks like <gasps> a whole new world. And then, so kind of like that. And then I will take the hairband out because otherwise it gets a bit too bulky. And I I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. And then kind of tuck it all in like that. Like that. That works for me. I don't. I know, like my friend doesn't do it that way, and she gets really annoyed when she sees me put wig caps on. But th that's how I do it. So, flippy dippy. Ugh. Cradle. Did you hear that, my pet? All these years, they've been looking for a baby. <laughs> I don't want to mess it up because um, I really love it. <laughs> this one isn't sitting as close to my head as it is here so it will probably require uh like bobby pins just down the sides do you think that i could get some chiggy chiggy maybe get a little finger sticky sticky that's a real song guys hot action cop i love it it's filthy there we go so this one i am using bobby pins on just to keep it kind of flat to my head but if you glue it down it would do that anyway um but i don't glue my wigs because i just can't be bothered wow I feel like this is gonna get knotted very easily though. Um, it kind of is already. So let me give it a, 
I don't know if I want to brush it, do I? Because that's going to make it not more. Okay, so do not brush this wig. <laughs> I feel like this looks like a wig. Whereas the, oh, let me get comfy. The other ones I feel looked a lot more realistic. Especially the Rosa. But I feel like this looks like a wig. Because I like my wigs to look real. So um, this that would put me off wearing this. Styling it though, like get some curling tongs under here and just make that puff up a little bit. I feel, do you know what? If if it didn't have the red, which is ironically is what drew me to it, because I thought it was like the fire at the end of Sleeping Beauty. If it didn't have the red, I feel like it would look a lot more realistic. But I still really like it. But I'm just a a. I want my wigs to look real kind of gal. But I do feel like this one's gonna get knotted quite easy. Whereas the others, even though the other two are in the same style, I feel like they were a little bit more smoother, I guess. I don't, I can't think of the word. The back is black up here. There is green under it, like, and you cannot see the wig cap. I haven't seen the wig cap on any of these. I don't know if you could, cause you got a better angle than I did. Um, but, oh, let's try that, but, um, but I couldn't. I've moved the parting across a bit to try and give it like a, a side parting and I, I like it more now so I can just do like let's do the selfie let's see my phone's broken <laughs> selfie it I, I quite like this I do I do quite like it I think I needed to give it a bit more of a chance and I love the colors that's why I picked it out the colors were just Mm, they're what I wanted like the green and the purple for Maleficent the black for Maleficent and the red for the fire at the end when she's like getting defeated I should have got ones with fringes to cover that spot right there so out of the four wigs which one did you like the most so for the giveaway I will um, do you know what I think for the time being I'm gonna keep the white one so for the giveaway I'm gonna give away this particular wig on YouTube so if you would like to win this wig all I want you to do is comment down below Maleficent you don't have to spell it right you can write oh my god I freaking hate Maleficent um, but any comment that includes the word Maleficent will be entered to win the giveaway and the winner will be picked in seven days from the upload date of this video and I will reply to your comment to let you know you have won and uh, please check I, there are scammers out there so if I reply to your comment please click on the name of the person who commented it might say Emily Boo it might say what's that me Emily Boo but like um, if clicking on the co click on their name and if it doesn't take you to my page with my videos unfortunately that's not me it's a scammer i'm sorry <laughs> but i will reply in seven days what are you doing to let you know are you going that way sort it out love to let you know you have what i've got a mirror here and i just can't stop playing <laughs> with my hair um so yeah so if you'd like to win this wig comment down below i am also going to give away the natural black wig and the rosa wig on my patreon i will do a separate video over there for you guys so silence my patreon for your chance to win those wigs i'm so wigs very kindly and very generously gave me a discount code to give to you guys get out of my face you can get 15 percent off any wig with code emily honestly guys i record as i sit here trying to pull hair out of my eyes i really really recommend them i would never tell you guys i recommend something if i don't recommend it and um you might be seeing that little bobby wig popping up in a video very soon because i love that one um but yes code emily gets you 15 percent off any wig and if you get one if you have one please let me know uh what you get because especially see especially the other ones seeing how realistic they look they're making me rethink synthetic wigs because I'm just I was a bit of a, a wig snob because I don't want my wigs to look like wigs and I feel like the black one I feel like the other they didn't I, to me they didn't look like a wig this one I think does but um but yeah I still really love them and before I go I have a couple of shout outs to do huge shout out to my Basil and Babe Shaz Sykes your amazing and i will see you soon for foot hugs we're gonna go to london we're gonna party and big shout out to nvidia malice whose name sounds like a living dead doll and i literally forgot about living dead dolls until i read your name and now i want to start my collection again i actually got my first living dead doll from my ex and it was sadie and i really wanted to call my firstborn child sadie because of that right i think that's it this one will not stop itching my face. i'm gonna to have to take it off <laughs> but i think that's it guys you know i almost put a spiked collar on today for for this video and i'm so glad i didn't because uh that's it emily brush it harder that will fix it oh no there's a bobby pin in my hair you see what i mean so i'm fanning about doing my hair every every day and making it look nice and everything whereas you can just chuck on a wig and go but i am i'm trying to wash this out 
I, I want to go like this color on here so please let me know of any toners or anything that can do that for me but I think I'm definitely gonna go and ask to get it cut into like a bob or something because the shape of that white one but thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed <laughs> I hope you enjoyed my wig review, giveaway, chill, chat. It was fun. Do you know what? It opened my eyes a bit to uh, the snobbery I am when it comes to wigs. If you're into cosplay, definitely check out these wigs. Um, or just for everyday wear. Because I don't know about you, but I thought they looked quite real. Thank you guys so much for watching. Good luck with the giveaway. Join my Patreon to enter the other giveaways. And I will see you very soon with another video. Much love, boobs. Take care of yourself. And most of all, stay